What is going on everyone? Welcome back to episode 4 of the No Man's Sky walkthrough. So we left off last episode with getting some base parts. Looking in a construction unit here. And we're talking about buildable technology. So we did get most of this stuff in the last episode. If you want to go and get your signal booster, the health station, the save beacon. Save beacon we actually might get in this episode as well. Because you can't keep going from your ship and back just to keep saving. You need somewhere you can actually save that's other than your ship. So we may get that in this episode. But the rest of this you can unlock to your heart's content as well as some of the other structures. That's in both timber, stone, alloy, and well, I guess the core habitation as well. So what we're first going to get started on is getting some power to this base. So in order to get power, go to power and industry, and you'll see that there's a electrical wiring, let's call it solar panel, biofuel reactor, and battery. We're aiming for this here, the solar panel, as well as the battery. The battery is going to go either way for the biofuel or the solar panel. The reason why we want the solar panel is because it gives us 50 watts per panel and when the sun's out it actually stores into this battery over here which gives us more power over time versus the biofuel reactor even though the cost is less I think it's like one metal plating 25 oxygen versus metal plating gold and chromatic metal so we are gonna have to get our hands on some ferrite dust to make the metal plating some gold out in space that we can get for free as well as the Right, that's what I just mentioned, along with getting the copper for a chromatic metal. We're going to need 50 of these. So to, in order to power this base for what it needs, we're actually going to have to power this, which is the base teleport portal. This is going to need four things in metal plating as well, which means we need more ferrite dust. We need carbon for the carbon nanotubes, and we already have some sodium already ready to build. If you want to put a flora containment three decoration in here, by all means, go ahead. As well as a, well, the standing light we already have in here. That's what we're trying to, you know, light in order to get more light within this room. If you want to put a flag down, by all means, go ahead. It's your base. Decorate it however you want. So our first mission is to get some ferrite dust. Tons of ferrite dust in where, there it is. So we don't have any fuel, which means we need a lot more carbon. We already have a hundred of it. So if you remember the trick from a previous episode, you put the 100 in, it fills it up, and when you're ready to take it back, you pick this up and then place it back down. It gives you a portion of it back. It should give you around 98. It gave us 97 last time. So that's done. Let's see if we can make another carbon nanotube and get that up and running. Be wary of your space. Okay, we have two because you do run out of it pretty fast. Even your cargo has a little bit of space. In the next episode, I will teach you how to get more of that. As well as most, I'm sorry, more space for your multi-tool. All right, I'm going to go outside and collect some ferrite dust as long as I can get out of the tour. All right, we're aiming for 100 to 200 things of ferrite. So once you have your 100, 150, or 200 count of all right, the next thing we're going to work on is carbon. So let's go ahead and get that. You know, make sure you have the settings on <laughs> mining beam first and make sure your fuel isn't too low either. Just go to your quick menu, go to the battery there, and then go straight to carbon. We're going to go straight to condensed carbon. Fills it right back up. And now you can get started on collecting. Awesome, just gonna get this last one here. We already hit about 277. So we should have enough to start making those things of metal plating. You can make those things of metal plating within your own general inventory. So if we're looking back, I'm not I'm sorry, not there. Right there. If we're looking back, there are so many things we need for the base teleporter. Now we have two nano our carbon nanotubes, we can now make four things of metal plating. But then we want to look on later on to see how many more we need so that we can get more of the same thing. So, so the cost was pretty high. I'd say it's about maybe 50. Let's double check that just to make sure. Yeah, it requires 50 ferrite dust to, just to get the four. So about 
200, maybe a little higher than that, should be just fine in order for you to get more ferrite dust and everything you need. Let's go ahead and get some carbon, by the way. We're also going to need that later on, too. You can get the carbon, well, at least on this planet, you can get the carbon from things that are listed on as carbon, as well as some of the trees and some of the other plant life. If you're on a desert planet, use your visor to scan to see what's around you. It should come up. Ooh, there was a perfect example right there, if I can just get it right there. And it should tell you about the resources on the left-hand side there. There's the primary element is carbon, then we're definitely going to go for that. You got to make sure you keep up fuel with your multi-tool as well as all the other things you're going to build and everything else you're going to need for your current project. Now that we can build the base portal, we're going to put that down. And we're going to get started on the actual solar panels as well as the batteries. So we want our portal to go somewhere. We're going to put it right there. Because it's not too far. Where's the lamp at? Oh, the lamp's right there. So trailing the wire out and to there should be a good spot. Again, you do not have to do this specifically. Go to your build menu. Put this up, scoot it out just a little bit more away from the wall because we put it in, it's not going to look good, it's not going to snap. So now that it's in a good spot, we're going to go ahead and put it down. So now anytime or anywhere we go in the universe, we can always come back here. Now that that's put down, we used up all of our metal plating. We're going to now use the batteries. We're going to put in probably two batteries. Just the power of this place up. It it's going to depend on what you're actually going to do at your base. Whether or not this is going to be your main base, or if it's just going to be your starter base, it doesn't have to be that much power right now. But later on, you are going to have to pile in more batteries up until you get the analysis visor. But that is for a later time. We do demagnetize ferrite, though. So we're going to process some of the parfinium, some of the ferrite dust that we got. Right in the here. We already have a little bit of ferrite dust, but we want to go ahead and turn this pure ferrite into actual ferrite dust. And a few seconds later, boom, we have our 19. Put that in our exosuit. And we're going to keep doing this with our ferrite dust into pure ferrite, our parfinium into ferrite dust, and on. And I will see you when all this is done. Alright, we are all done. So if you still want your carbon back, go ahead and do a little trick. Take that. We got 64, so we used that quite a bit of fuel there. And then just go ahead and place it back down. We'll collect more carbon along the way to get more fuel. And we are back out to go get some more metal plating. Because... Going to our build menu, we're going to need that battery. We're going to need some more condensed carbon, which means we're going to have to put carbon in to the actual refiner to make us condensed carbon so we can get over that 100 in order to get those batteries. So we're going to need quite a bit. It's a 2 to 1 ratio for you to get carbon into condensed carbon, which means we're going to need about 400 carbon in order for us to get the 200 condensed carbon to make two batteries. Go outside, start co collect I'm sorry, collecting carbon. And we're gonna be, we're gonna return back to base in a bit. Wow, looks like we have the amount of carbon that we needed. So we're gonna refine some of that, and by some of that, we're gonna extract the 400, leave the remaining in there, put 100 in for fuel, have that into condensed carbon. We should be good to go for two batteries, unless we need something a little bit more. Make sure you double check your items to make sure that you have the amount that you need. It doesn't matter either way. You have to come back and get them anyway. So magnetized ferrite, we need about 60 each. So how much do we actually have? We have a lot more than that. So we're going to have some leftovers. We do have some copper to make the chromatic metal for the solar panels. I think we're going to have at least maybe one or two this time around. We're going to try to see how many we can get this episode. Two or more. That's what we're shooting for. Two or more. It's because... Wow, I just really need to put some stairs in there. It's because this re 
I'm sorry, this requires a certain amount of power. And I believe if you go to your build menu, it tells you how much. Well, we're going to find out in a bit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start refining. Put your carbon in as fuel. Remember to take this out. And then if you use the little menu on the bottom where it says quick split and WS to change your stack size, you're going to use S to make it less. So remember that S for less, W for more. And 406 is going to be our best bet. Make it, it's going to give us 203. All right, we have our 202 carbon. I wonder what happened to the third. There it goes. <laughs> it got left behind. So we can actually leave that there for the time being. Now we can actually put a battery down. I do want to put the battery here because it's a lot closer. But you can get creative with it. It doesn't have to be inside with you. It can be outside if you want to set up a little area for a generator. But that's going to have to cost you another floor. A little bit of fencing going on that is going to dig deep into the actual excuse me, build structure tree. So you can go ahead and do that within your own means. But I'm actually going to put these inside. Let's get our first one done. We still have to do the solar panels, so watch out for that. We're going to connect this to there and from the bottom part over to there. Get this just right. Remember to press B if you want to go into your build camera menu. Oh, look, we can already build two. I was kind of convinced I can only build one, but you can build two depending on whether or not you have enough magnetized ferrite and condensed carbon. There, we're just missing out on magnetized ferrite. If we wanted to put a third one in, we can actually put these in and connect them now. Don't worry if these are too close. They're still connected. This is going to connect to here. And although we're only seeing one plug, because it's a little clipped into the wall a little bit, you can still go from here on to there. If you want to make it nice, what I recommend is having one part put down, grabbing this front part, moving it out a little bit so it moves towards the edge of the wall there, and then run it from the edge of the wall straight from behind and then to the front so that way it looks a little bit aesthetic, I'm sorry, aesthetically pleasing. And make sure you're watching how many of these are going to be built because it's going to cost towards your... I'm sorry everyone, I'm blanking. Your base build parts. You know, I will let you know next episode. <laughs> There's just only a certain amount of building parts you can put in for your base. And that is going to allow you to actually build your base. So if you go over that limit, you're not going to be allowed to put any more pieces in. Alright, just go ahead and grab it. Is that... Oh, it looks like the, it is it off the ground? And now, if it is off the ground a little bit, like it is here, all you're going to have to do is go into your build menu. As you're already there, as you can see, the menu is a little small. So you're going to put... You push Q if you're on mouse and keyboard. Push C, and just like we did last time, just press X, and it's gone. Remember to press the back button, and then try again. You're going to want to make these as short as possible, so that way they don't go over it. But I did tell you to make these as long as you can, because we don't want to go over that limit for base parts. We want to stay within that limit. Try to make it as long as you can, but if it messes with your aesthetic, try to do the best you can. Well, I may have to go in the build camera menu. I will see you when this is all plugged up and over. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I am kind of disappointed that this one. We can go ahead and make this nice later on. But yeah, everything is plugged up. It's good to go. All we have to do now is just turn everything on, and we're going to need to do that with a bunch of solar panels. Let's see how it's, we're looking on pieces. We're doing pretty good so far. Looking at the build menu, we need at least two to three of these. So we're gonna we're gonna need three things of metal plating. 
which means we're gonna need about 150 ferrite. Gold is no problem, as long as you use your ship to fly up into space and shoot at the com or not sorry the meteors that are just in orbit. You can just shoot those, get all the gold you need, and then chromatic metal. We do have copper for that, so that's going to be our last thing to do. We're actually going to go up in space, get our gold. Be sure to check the, the planet for resources to the right. On this planet, it says star bulb, copper, parfinium, and salt, which means anytime we can get parfinium as a deposit, we can turn that into ferrite. Ferrite dust to pure ferrite, pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. Unfortunately, you'll go from magnetized ferrite back to pure ferrite. I don't, I don't remember which update it is, but. Before that update, you were able to go into a loop with ferrite dust, pure ferrite, magnetized ferrite, and then back again. So if you do have one of those resources on the planet, I recommend going to that deposit and digging it up. If not, just proceed on the space and get what you need. You don't have to worry about losing sight of your base because it will have those icons on it. But you need to worry about launch source of fuel. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. So if you haven't built it already, we need one thing of metal plating. We need to check to see if you have any magnetized fair. I'm sorry, not magnetized ferrite, but ferrite dust. If you don't have any ferrite dust, then you're gonna have to go search for some. And it looks like we we have enough. Let's go ahead and make that one thing of metal plating. Starship launch fuel. The other thing you're going to use the hydrogen in about 40 of it. And you make that. Fills up the entire thing. And now we can take off and go get some gold. Alright, here we are. Back up in orbit. Just go ahead and take some shots. At any one of these you see. Sometimes you get tritium, sometimes you get silver. But the main thing we're looking for is gold. We're not going to stop shooting until we get what we came for. And I believe it was about 30 gold for it. Now, if you're wondering why I shot in the distance at that really big meteor, I'm pretty sure if that one was an asteroid. It's pretty big. The rest of these are just meteors. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat down below. I'm sorry, the comments, not the chat. But yeah, if you shoot these out, it carries a lot more material in it than the others. which we are getting a ton of silver. And be sure to watch for your thermal load as if it reaches 100% it will prevent you from shooting as it's been overloaded. Take a few shots, watch it explode. We are getting some gold. Let's take a quick peek at what we actually have. So we have gold nuggets, go ahead and extract those. And I believe it's within our cargo. We have 464, so I think we're good with gold. All we need to do now is go down, back to base, start refining the copper, and we should be good to go because... Hold on, I'm a little skeptical about something. I think we do need some more ferrite dust for the metal plating later on, but we'll go ahead and take care of that later. Ooh, got a smooth landing here. Woo, came in a little too fast. All right, we're landed. So once again, we're at the refiner. Go ahead and take the copper out of the menu. Make sure you know how much copper you're actually gonna need. So we're not looking at the battery anymore since we have enough. We have, we need chromatic metal. We need about 50 of it. So that's one, two, three, that's 150. For gold, that's 90. For metal plating, that's three, which means we need 150 ferrite dust. So 150 of ferrite dust, 150 of chromatic metal, just to reiterate, and then 90 gold. So we're going to make the chromatic metal first. As we do have the copper, I believe it's the 2 to 1. Yeah, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So what you can do is change the stack size. We need about 150, which means we need about 300 copper. So we're going to leave this here, <laughs> since we don't have enough. And we're going to have to go out and get some more. If you do have enough, go ahead and proceed on. If you don't have enough, go ahead and start looking around with your analysis visor up until you find something that says carbon, I'm sorry, not carbon, but uh, copper deposit. 
I did not have to go far at all. There was one. We just flew by it. There it is right there. Switch here to Ray Manipulator and start using up the resource. Pretty soon we're going to use a tool that we can just leave here and it will extract the copper for us without making a big hole. As we want to preserve the copper, we don't want to use it all up. We want to have an infinite amount of it. Time to check an inventory and then do a little bit of math. So we have 289 plus the 114, which makes it a little over 300. So we have enough to go ahead and make our chromatic metal. Unfortunately, these do not grow back. So once they're once the deposit's gone, it was a little bit more. Once the deposit's gone, it's gone. That's it. There's no more. Even if you were trying to, to repair the hole, with restore, it doesn't work. Oh, awesome. We're back, back at base. Come in first. Nice. Slow landing this time. Ooh, this one was nice and flat this time. Alright, since we... Ah, uh, no stairs. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, it's 228. I thought it was 114. It's 228. It's just 114 chromatic metal. So go back to the exosuit, put that in there, and we'll combine with the rest. So we have 517. So if we want 150, we need to put 300 in. Right there. So we got 153. You can actually let this go for a little bit and go into our inventory menu. See how much ferrite dust we have. We only have seven, so we need to go out and go get some ferrite dust. We can leave that going for a little bit. Got a sneeze coming up. Thank you. So I'll meet you back inside when we have the amount of ferrite dust that we need. Remember, we need about 150 of it. Alright, we already have our 202. That's a little bit over. I got a little bit extra. Oh, and we did get a geode, by the way, which adds on another little bit to the ferrite dust. So we can go ahead and start making the, what is it, the three things of metal plating. Two and three. So we're stuck with 95 now. So now that the refiner is done, it should have everything that we need. Perfect. Now we're ready to put in the solar panels. Now you can put the solar panels on a grid on the ground that you have with the wooden floor somewhere and have that facing towards the sun while the wire just runs through the building here and then into the batteries, which I believe is in the floor below me. And then over towards the, let's see, no, that's where the portable refiner is, it's actually over here. <laughs> so from here, the batteries over to the portal, over to the lamp over here, and we should be good to go and done. Now I did mention you could put them on the ground, make your own little grid, or you could just put them on top. I prefer to put them on top, it's just me. It doesn't matter which way they're the sun is facing and will actually face toward where the sun is at no matter which way you put it down as you can see it will actually open up in that direction right there I'm gonna put one over here as well we might fill the entire roof with them maybe put another one down now as you can see in the solar panel it has that little 50 number next to it and to the left of it it's power that means it's 50 pa 50 units of power I believe if you're gonna go with that term so it's 50 watts there you go it's 50 watts per use so we want to make sure we can combine them so that way we make 75 that way 75 goes into the battery which means it's always gonna power on the bat no, the battery obviously it's gonna power on the, <laughs> the portal next to it so if you don't mind the aesthetics, then go for practicality, just go and like just connect it. If not, 
you could use this side to go straight down to the lamp and then co connect everything else. But if you want to go for the battery side, then I say why not. But either way, it's up to you. Alright, looks like they're pretty nice and flat. We can see the power running through them. So the most challenging part is running them straight down the wall. Because we do want to run it out a little bit. And we do want to run it down. So that way it, com it comes through the wall. After coming through the wall, it goes right in front of the batteries. And if you were to take one and look to see where it's actually at. It's in this one right here. You can see where all the electrical parts are at. We could just take one and then come straight down with it if we wanted to. But we're actually going to take it around, across the wall, off the wall, and then straight into here. Then again, if you're going for practicality, you do not have to do that. You just straight connect it and it's fine. All you're really in there for is just power. But for those of you who want aesthetics, this is one way to do it. There's so many other ways to do it to the point where you could probably just hide the wiring. But this is just one way to do it. There are so many ways to do it. Alright, looks like we're off to a good start making this come all the way down in a straight way that we like it. I'll see you back inside when we finish this up. Looks like we ran into a problem here. Ah, there it is. It just wasn't showing up. Alright, our objective is completed, powering the base. We did not use a biofuel reactor though. <laughs> we skipped right over that. Because there's no use for it. Now that you got your base powered up and running, now you can go back to the space station and start buying your supplies if you have the money. So this is going to open us up to a little bit of trade. In case we find anything on the planet that's worth selling, we can go back into... Oh, actually, this is the colony that we're at, and this is the space station hub that we're currently at. I don't know why it's coming up twice. You just click that. Go to the hub, or however it's listed at that bottom in that gray text box, and it'll take you straight to there. Fast travel, you don't have to use your ship, but your ship does come with you when you land. So you'll be coming right back out of there, and if you look out, there's your ship. And just in case you need to buy anything, just come over to the terminal. Let's say you don't really have the time to get resources. You should just go ahead and buy all the ferrite dust you want. Or any of these materials for that matter. Even the metal plating. You can just even skip the whole refining part and just go straight to the source on this. There's only a few of the materials in here, unfortunately. But on the planet itself, you can actually go and collect them. If you're still looking for more charts, just come up to one of these. If you haven't already, go ahead and pick those up, get some navigational data, come to this specific Gek or Corvax or Viking, whoever's there as your cartographer, take some maps from them, as that's what we'll be doing in the next episode to expand your multi-tool slot. Let's go ahead and jump back. since this is the only place that we can go to and from until we start exploring the galaxy just a little bit more. Alright, and we are back. Sometimes your ship might actually land inside the base, but it's usually where the base computer's at, which means your ship... <laughs> where, where'd it go? Ah, there you go. It's right there. I thought the base... Oh, the base computer's over here. It's because this is in the way, it couldn't land next to it. So it ended up landing over there, which is actually fortunate. And another milestone completed. Alright everyone, in the next episode we're going to show you how to get more slots for your multi-tool for free by solving a few puzzles, as well as changing your aesthetic at the space station. This is Azerath, and I will see you in the next episode.